All right, so here's what we're going to do with the gallery page. We are going to use a program called Lightbox2 or this jQuery library. Um, that what happens is when we click on an image, it's going to load the image in a separate window, and then we can click to go to the next image, and the next image, and so on. So that's what we're going to do with this. What we have to do is we have to download the Lightbox version 2.0.4 um, file and copy some things over into our um, into our folder. So I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to hide everything else. So here's my folder that has my um, stuff in it and here's the Lightbox 2.0.4. I'm going to take the contents from this and just uh, as a clue for me I am going to give these a label of yellow so that I can see what's different than what I have over here. So I'm going to take these three folders and I'm going to copy them into my project folder for this and I'll go through and close that. You'll see that inside there is a lightbox CSS file there is these uh, images, and there are a few um, JavaScript files that this gallery needs to have uh, to work. So I'm going to go back into Dreamweaver, and I'm going to uh, go to my split and scroll up to my uh, header area. I'm going to go back over into Firefox and take a look at how to use um, Lightbox 2. It says Lightbox 2 uses the prototype framework of uh, script, uh, Scriptaculous Effects Library. You'll need to include these three JavaScript files in your header in this order. So I'm going to copy these three lines of code and go over into Dreamweaver and come up into the head and I'm going to paste those in there. I'm going to go back to Firefox. It says we also need to include the Lightbox CSS file. So I will highlight that. And I will go into Dreamweaver. And I will paste that in there as well. And then I will save this. Now one of the things you're going to want to check is to make sure that the path to the file is correct. Here it's looking for a folder called JS with prototype JS inside. So if I look over here in my files, you'll see I've got the JS and I have the prototype JS inside. Here I see the link to scriptaculous.js and I see that right here and it's loading in the effects and the builder. And you'll see you have two JavaScript files called effects and builder in here. So that's good. And then we have the lightbox.js and the CSS up here of the lightbox. Okay, and all of those things are all linked together, so we're, we're good to go there. Let's go back over into Firefox, and it says, all right, to activate, we have to add this attribute to any link tag to activate the light box. So I'll take the code here, go back into Dreamweaver, click on the image, go into the split view again, and here we go, ahref, we'll come in here at the end, I'll put a space, and I will paste the rel attribute. I'll save it, we'll come over and pre preview that in Firefox, click on that, and we see that everything loads up just great. All right, now one of the things is, is if we want to use a group of images, we have to put a the name of the group in square brackets inside. So if I go back into Dreamweaver and I go to my second image, if I just come in here and put in the uh, the REL um, attribute, it's going to keep these two separate. It's not going to give me the next and previous arrows that I would like. But if I come in here and I add the word group, and I come down here and I add the word group 
save it, and preview it. If I click here, now it gives me image one of two. And when I mouse over this area, it says next, resizes to the next image, and says I'm at image two of 